Today I want to demonstrate how you can do a multi-camera edit inside of Sony Vegas Pro version. I'm using Sony Vegas Pro 13, but previous versions work similar as well, as long as you have the Pro version. First of all, what I'm going to do is import my video files. I've recorded three different camera angles of creating a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I'm going to bring in these camera angles, and I want to line them up on my timeline so they match. Now on these each of these shots I set the cameras up and I recorded at the same time and I clapped at the beginning of each recording as well as I counted down so I can match up the clips using the audio from the clips. I'm going to go ahead and drag my clips down to my timeline and I want each clip right beneath the previous one. So I drag this down to my timeline. I can scroll down to zoom out so I can see more of my timeline. I'll go ahead and scroll down a lot more so I can see. So here are my video clips. Now looking at the audio waveforms, I can see that there's patterns. These actually match up. What I want to do is line up the audio as best I can with these three different clips. So what I'm going to do is move my cursor over here where I can see the audio and I'm just going to scroll up just a little bit to zoom in. and then I'm going to try to drag these to get them roughly in the same spot. Now the cameras were not placed in the exact same location so they're not going to be precise and the sounds not going to be perfect but I can zoom in and I can get a close view. I'm scrolling up to zoom in even more and I can line up these cameras based on the sound. Now anytime you do a multi-camera project I recommend having a clap at the beginning or something visual. So right here I can see the clap and I can go and I can line these up. I'm going to click right here. I can scroll up and these look pretty close. I'm going to zoom in even more. They're not exact. Let me drag this over and as I drag it over I realize that this camera was a little bit further away than the other two cameras and it doesn't match up exactly. And that is okay for what I'm doing. Uh, this doesn't have to be precise. If you're doing more precise work you may need to record better audio with each camera but in this case I realized that this is less than a frame difference and it's going to be close enough for what I need it to do. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down so I can see all of my clips and you can see my clips are different lengths from when I hit record so they aren't going to line up exactly. Once I have the sound set up where I feel that it is a good sound and I can play through how to make peanut butter and jelly sandwich. And so there, you when you do this, you can tell if your clips are lined up based on how well it goes and if there's an echo. If a clip is off slightly, how to, how to make, make peanut, peanut you're going to have a slight echo. I'm going to put that back. How to make peanut butter and, and that sounds much better to me. So I'm going to go ahead and edit that as a multi-camera uh, clip. What I need to do now that I've lined up my angles, I need to select each of the video layers or video tracks. I'm holding control and clicking on the video tracks. I go up to tools, multi-camera, and I go to create multi-camera track. Now as I play through this, I don't need all of the audio, so I can either solo the best audio that I have or I could also mute the other ones. I'm going to solo this audio so it only follows one audio. Now, as you can see over here in my viewer, I can see three different camera angles. By default, it's not set up so you can do this. Go up to Tools, go to Multi-Camera, and normally it will look like this where you see the uppermost video. So now what you need to do is go up to Tools, Multi-Camera, Enable Multi-Camera Editing. This will show you all of the, the tracks that you have. It will have the label of the camera file on each one. So I have camera 1, camera 2, and camera 3. Now all I have to do is simply hit play and as I hit play I can either click on which shot I want or press 1, 2, or 3 on the keyboard. So I'm going to go ahead and press play. How to make peanut butter and jelly sandwich. So I can switch Five, angles four, by simply three, clicking two, on one. I can switch angles by simply Today I want to show you the steps. On 1, 2, or 3. Now you can see I messed up and I need to start again. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to press a marker three, here. Two, one.
Today, and that marker tells me where the start point how is. To create a... And now I can just play through and I can edit this video by simply pressing 1, 2, or 3. So I'm going to play here. Today, I'm going to show you the steps on how to create a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. First, you need to make sure you have all of the materials. You need to have your bread, your jelly, and of course, the peanut butter. So the first thing that you So just by pressing one, two, or three on the keyboard, I'm switching which take is active. So the first thing that you're going to I need can to also do click is open up the bread. With Simply mouse twist the twist tie to choose the angle. This is a great thing. Now if I want to have a transition as I'm choosing my angles, all I have to do is press control when I press the number tie. on the keyboard. Take out two slices of and I'm going to go ahead and scroll up here, zoom in on my timeline, and you can see I pressed control and it automatically created a one second transition in between each of the clips. Now you could go through and edit all of the video and what I would recommend doing is once you finish go to where the beginning of your video is, press I on the keyboard, and then go to where the end of your video is and press O. This is going to create a loop region that you can then render out this section of the video. This is a short demonstration on how you can do a multicam editing inside of Sony Vegas. Now this is how I've done it for years but recently I've tried using uh, Final Cut Pro on a Mac to do multi-camera editing. I discovered that Final Cut Pro works much smoother in multi-camera editing and has many more features to make this a much easier smoother process. I have also created a short tutorial that demonstrates how to do multi-camera editing inside of Final Cut Pro. Go ahead and check out that video. I'll leave a link here in the video for you to check it out as well. Hope this video has helped you. Have a great day. Thank you.